This is Pastor Jeremy from Metro City Church in Michigan. The reason you're seeing him is because he is about to quote and reference Psalm 40's Unashamed Sermon Jam. He reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked if he could reference this material, this word that the Lord has laid on my heart, and I gladly sent him the transcript. For anyone who knows me, uh, my story, what I've come from, what this ministry was birthed out of, this is very, very humbling to think that a mega church pastor would want to reference little old me. It's, it's a blessing, and I wanted to document it. Here it is. What does it mean to be unashamed? What does that possibly look like? Uh, there's this pastor. His name is John Chintzy. Kind of a weird name. Uh, he leads a ministry called Psalm 40. Uh, and it's a great little ministry. He's got some great stuff. And, and he says it like this. He says, just look at the way we run after actors and artists and athletes. Just look at the way we follow them. Uh, he says, we're unashamed of them, right? We're passionate about them. We're invested in them. Uh, we, we, we will stand in the scorching heat to, uh, you know, to watch them move a ball around. We will stand in lines for hours just to get up close to them. We will, we will invest our time, our money, our efforts into them. Uh, we will stay up all night to watch the latest movie from them. We'll invite them into our homes and into our lives. We will get all emotional over them. When someone talks bad about our idol, we like, woo what are you talking about? What are you talking about? And we'll like study them and we'll post about them and we'll tweet them and we'll spend thousands and thousands and thousands of our dollars on them. But Jesus, you don't need to get too fired up about him. Pastor John goes on to say it like this. It's okay to be a sports fan or a movie buff. It's okay to have a favorite athlete or an artist. It's okay to go out and play games and have hobbies. What's not okay is coming to church with no desire to worship the God who created it all. What's not okay is living like the rest of the world lives. What's not okay is not sharing this free gift of eternal life that God has given to you to share with everyone. What's not okay is being a closet Christian about the gospel. It's not okay to, to hide your faith. What's not okay is to be embarrassed about your relationship with Jesus. Friends, listen, if you were to ask your uh, favorite actor when, when your heart is broken to come and just spend some time with you, how do you think that's going to go? Right? Go, go when, when, when you need healing in your life, go just pray to your favorite team. When, when something is missing and something is lonely inside of you, just, just go ask your favorite artist to come and spend some quality time and write you a personal song. And it's like he says this. He's like, listen up, everybody. I got big news. For a long time in my life, faith was hidden somewhere else, but I am not that way anymore. Listen to me, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus. I'm not shy about Jesus. I'm not shy about my faith anymore. I'm not embarrassed by Jesus. I'm not hiding Jesus in some backpack in my life. I am not ashamed of the gospel. Anybody? You hear me what I'm saying? He, he says, you can't persuade me into thinking something different. You can't convince me into believing something different. You can't intimidate me into feeling something different. I'm immobile. I, I, I'm immovable. I'm impenetrable. I am not ashamed of Jesus. I'm not ashamed of what he's done in my heart. I'm not ashamed of what he's done in my life because it is true. It is real. It is alive. I've tasted it. I've felt it. I've seen it. I've experienced it. I believe it. I was blind, but now I see. This is my life now. This is all I know. This is the path I'm on. And it is way on the path I was There's before. nothing else out there to, to seek. Because There's nothing else, There's nothing else to out there to find. find. Call off the search party because I found it. I've got it. I have what everyone is looking for. I have the answer to life's questions. I have the solution to life's problems. I have the cure for life's pain. I have the meaning of life's purpose. It's the gospel. It's the gospel. And I'm going to tell everyone. I'm going to show everyone. I have to. I can't not. Because this is it. This is life. This is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes. This is what Paul's saying. This is how he's living. And I just want to know. When are you going to live there?